All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and I just realized, for some reason I'm shivering, even though it's actually not cold in the apartment, but, uh, you know, the thing is, I got really hungry last night, but obviously I refused to eat, all right, so I'm trying to lose uh, body fat, all right, still got plenty left to lose, 20, 30 pounds, probably, so, you know, I was able to resist the urge to eat, and, um, you know, that has the effect of me feeling colder because when I don't eat, you know, I tend to get colder. So I'm sure there's an actual biological reason for that. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to start eating. Also, is the camera thing? Yeah. So anyway, I actually woke up at like 7:30 a.m. today. You know, played some Tarkov and then because I got tilted last night, then I just immediately rage quit. I didn't even look at the score screen, and then um, then I played again today using a budget loadout it's like yeah it's like you know i'm just constantly reminded of why i need to create my game because there's no there will never be a game that i want to play except the one that i create and then um actually before we start i decided to find another game to play i mean i don't really like playing single player games anymore but you know i didn't really have much of a choice uh and i found this game for 20 bucks uh, you know, it's a pretty nice 2D game, right? The guy outsourced his graphics, obviously. Uh, so, you know, it's a, you know, like now that I know pro, now that I'm learning program, I keep thinking, yeah, this must have been made in Unity. But I mean, when I played, when I loaded up the game, it didn't have the Unity, uh, whatchamacallit, but it definitely seemed to have, to, uh, have a very similar loading up thing. So anyway, now I'm starting to sweat a little. Um... So yeah, this has a lot of good views. Uh, this is made by one guy, right? And this game came out in April 18th, 2019. So in a couple, so basically in two months and nine days, it'll be a one year anniversary of this game. This is impressive, right? And I was trying to decide between this game and this game, uh, Raft, which um, I don't know how many people, I mean, I'm guessing this game probably required like maybe a couple extra people. Online PVP. How does this game have PvP? Oh yeah, I guess like you could just have people attack your raft or something. So this game is kind of similar too, but uh, you know I'm going with 2D, especially since I want to make my game with 2D because you know obviously this game could be run on a mobile phone, right? I, I actually saw an ad for Maple Story. Now it's on mobile. And it's the exact same game as you played on the PC, except it's a 2D side scroller. So Maple Story or Nexon, the guys who make it in South Korea, they're gonna be making a lot more money. Right, so you know, because because uh, I've been because I also spent a lot of my time this morning also thinking about obviously God and stuff. So I listened to more uh, Jesse Lee Peterson stuff. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff he did was uh, with relationships and then basically answering questions about men who are in like bad relationships with women or something like that. So you know, I had a good time thinking about that. But I'm thinking more like now that I'm getting older. I think my role. Is really just to get people to you know seek God so I'm like like a uh, what was the word like the one I call it an usher like technically I think I'm classified as a shepherd right but I think, but I think I like the word usher better let me see what's a shepherd uh, oh yeah I, I, I definitely misspelled it um, okay I don't want shepherd as in the uh, okay here we go. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. A person who heard... Oh, I spelled it wrong, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, no one... This this word is... Shepherd. There are so many silent letters. letters. Okay. A person who tends and rare sheep. Uh, although the sheep are shepherded, they're generally only counting on when we bring them in. Do I direct in a particular direction? Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is actually what I see myself as. But I like the word usher because it's specifically about ushering. Uh, like at the movie theater, they just usher you in a, you know, in a direction. So that's what I do. I just usher people in, you know. Now that an old World of Warcraft buddy decided to talk to me out of the blue, right, which is probably God's doing, right? It's like, okay, well, let me, let me help him along the lines of, you know, because I... I because I didn't actually know he was a 21-year-old white male in college. So, yeah, he's uh, he, he definitely is <laughs> suffering. So I got to help him out. All right, and I'm more than happy to. And then, you know, uh, trying to get 
uh, well, I guess I'll just leave it at that. And someone else I'm talking to. So, yeah, I mean, it's working out all right. Also, did I actually refresh this? Yeah. So, anyway, I'll try to keep today's video a little short. So, uh, yeah. And then, uh, game development is going along just fine. I finally finished the introductory courses, and now I'm going to be starting the Battle Royale module. So, that'll be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, because uh, the more the more the more frustrated I get in Tarkov, uh, the more I'm like, you know, I really need to make my game so I don't have to play Tarkov anymore. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So anyway, um, last week it's still finalizing around seven for uh, Bitcoin searches. Okay, you know what? This jacket really is starting to annoy me. I have enough of the warmth. I'll just put it behind. It. Oh, great, I accidentally removed the Velcro. I really like this jacket. I don't know how much I paid for. It. I think it's like. 40 to 60 bucks, maybe a little cheaper. It's very warm. I, like when I when I go out to like throw out the trash, right? I don't have a shirt on because I just like just being shirtless, right? Obviously, I have to have a shirt on for. I mean, actually, I don't think YouTube will. Uh, actually, yeah, YouTube might mind. Actually, I don't have a shirt on, right? I mean, even Sticks and Hammer, you know, would have a um, jacket over himself, even though he had no shirt underneath. But yeah, I can just go out shirtless with this thing in like 30 degree weather or, tw or 25 degree weather. It's actually not that bad. I actually feel very warm. You know, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So anyway, crypto is, oh, wow. Well, uh, so we, we, we did it. We, uh, we finally did it. It's very nice. So Bitcoin dominance is at 63.8%. 24 of volume is 130.4 billion. Uh, all the idiot uh, bear market shorters. Our shorting Bitcoin just got uh, completely screwed uh, screwed in the ass without their consent, of course. And now Bitcoin is at a resounding ten thousand seventy five dollars. Uh, you know, it's been a long time coming. This bull run doesn't seem to have any intention of ever going down. Though I have to admit, it's finally hit the psychological mark of ten thousand because it's a nice round number. So maybe it'll maybe it will drop a lot. But uh, I don't know. Um, we're just going to have to see what happens uh, between today and tomorrow. Uh, Litecoin's at 76.39. Uh, so as you can see, everything's going up. But there's a slight little dip. So it's just a little bit of profit taking. Um, well, I mean, so far, so good. I mean, I'm definitely not complaining. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin Cash and SV are pretty much the same. Uh... Dog coins at 397.4 million. So this thing is also doing the same hook motion, go up and then down a little bit. And Steam crypto <coughs> Steam cryptocurrency is at 20.16 cents, and that's a pretty nice flat line. Alright, so um, we could skip the stock because obviously it's not open. The markets are not open, it's the weekend. So JMC coin, um, all right, so I managed to finally get in touch with Mitch, and uh, we've decided uh, that we're actually going to try to uh, update the JMC block explorer to the new version because it's just taking too long to sync. It'll be like months before it'll actually sync, and we obviously cannot have, you know, Crex not working with JMC for like two months, right, while it's waiting on the block explorer to come back up, so... Uh, we don't even know if it's going to work, but I have a feeling that it should, right? Because even because I think the problem is it's just the software is just so old that that I mean I don't know. It's like a, we'll have to just see. But usually patches are you know a good thing. That's why you know because there's a lot of thought and deliver all a lot of logic that goes into computer programming, uh, obviously. So there has to be improvements. Uh, so anyway, JFC coins at three to four. It's doing all right because obviously nobody can deposit, right? So uh, yeah, but I mean, we really do need to open up the JMC wallet so people can buy, buy and sell because it's already missed out on like all this uh, booming stuff, uh, boom, uh, price booms. So after yesterday, I had a fantastic thing. I went to shop to like twenty or twenty-one. It's actually dumped it back down to ten to eleven. However, the if you, you look at the buy support, and it's the same thing on two by two, which we'll soon see. Um, yeah, the the minimum buy support for 404 is increasing steadily. Now it's at 10, like these large, large uh, orders. So I'm still gonna make a guess that it's gonna be worth 20 or 21 max. We just have to wait for the next buy wave, right? Because buy waves seem to come in when people are just active, right? I guess awake. So um, 
Yeah, I wouldn't even. So yeah, I wouldn't even uh, sell it for this low. But um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, because from eleven to twenty sub satoshis, it's only twenty seven point three million four hundred four coin. That can easily be all bought by the the buy wave. So that's what I'm waiting for. And there's not even that much at twenty one to twenty two either. So if you go up to twenty two. It's 48.49 million uh, four four coins. And then after that, it's just like not a lot left. So uh, the buy pressure for 404 is finally uh, in, uh, improving, fine, uh, uh, which is a good thing. Um, 404 coin it was, is at 68 to 74. It actually had a pretty big buy support, but it looks like someone dumped a ton of two by two coins. That's actually a lot. Yeah, so people really want Bitcoin. The funny thing is, it's like Bitcoin didn't really go up that much. So, I mean, if it doesn't go up much, uh, you know, the guy's going to lose out. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. But anyway, it's looking pretty good. This uh, this big buy order is at 60 Satoshis of a Bitcoin. The amount is 185.7 uh, thousand coins. Uh, and then, of course, about, what is this, 60,000 of it already got dumped on? 65,000. Yeah, so, uh, you know, so things are looking uh, on the up and up, and um, yeah, let's just continue to do what we do, stay out of trouble, right? Don't get mentally or physically incapacitated, right? Which includes dying, right? Uh, and then just enjoy the ride, you know? It's like, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, as Jesse teaches right, in his church, just live and let go. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Just uh, try not to worry, you know, and that's something I always try to, you know, work on too, because I tend to worry a lot too. Though it's not nearly as bad today as it was in the past. So, uh, uh, yeah, so as expected, because this is what I was uh, expecting, uh, compound coins down to 4102 to 5770. Yeah, so it's still doing pretty lame, but, you know, uh, this massive buy support is still here, so. I mean, I guess it's safe to say that, you know, compound coin really is worth 4,100 or 4,000 Satoshis of a dog coin. So price stability is always pretty nice. Uh, let me see. Any new people to thank? Yes. Yeah, so thank you to the one person that subscribed. I'm kind of surprised anyone even watches this, especially since it's YouTube. So like there's censorship going on. There's a lot of competition because other people are probably uploading Bitcoin stuff. Uh, and then of course it's just you know me personally too right you know me you know some people like me some people don't you know blah 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 blah. Uh, but anyway, um, I mean the, mo the my main claim to fame is going to probably be the game anyway. So you know the, this Bitcoin thing will be more of a support. And eventually, once I do get pretty famous, I do want like uh, a weekly or I don't know what do you call it when it's two days a week because because it's not bi weekly because that means it's once every two weeks. Um, every two days is called what weekly? It's not bi-weekly. Oh, it is bi-weekly. It means twice a week or every other week. Well, that's very confusing. That's why I don't, yeah, that's why I don't like that. Uh, every other day, every two days. What's a word for every, uh, oh, semi. Well, means once every two weeks or twice a week, bi-monthly means, so what does semi mean? Uh, a bi-weekly. Well, you may want to use substitute the actual time for these confusing terms. Mm. Excuse me, are you just trying? Okay. Semi? I don't know. I don't really use the word semi-weekly or semi. It's just it just sounds so weird. Um, yeah, I don't like using the word bi-weekly to describe two days a, a, a week because that's so confusing. Like it, that's literally a different from every other week, which is every once every two weeks. That's like that's way that's that, that's just too much. I'll just have to say two uh, every uh, two days a week. So that's a Saturday and Sunday. So I actually would not be doing Bitcoin stuff uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Anthony Pompileo reaches, says, okay. Um, all right. So anyway, wait, did I refresh this? Okay. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is a digital gold. Uh, okay. So we actually don't have anything here. It's actually old. Uh, there's actually no real news. Um, 
Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Um, well, this guy says 300k. I said 500k. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Don't care. All right. So today is actually going to be pretty nice because there's actually nothing to talk about, which is fine because today's my day off, right? You know, um, I'm not going to do any coding lessons today. Just trying to get my brain to relax. I might even take tomorrow off from coding. We'll see. It depends on how much satisfaction I get when I play my video games. Because, uh, cause, you know, the more stressed I am, the more I need to play video games to de-stress. So it's it's very nice. But, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash the Lemon Factor BTC. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. And let's try and get this. Oh, yeah, I don't have to do that anymore. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just smash the subscribe button if you feel like it or not. Uh, I guess it doesn't. Well, it technically does matter, but uh, I don't care enough to uh, ask for it that much beyond just asking. Yeah. So, I guess one thing I did want to mention is I'm going to eventually want to hire some kind of artist, right, to help me with the graphics. You know, I mean, I'll start, I'll start with using the asset asset store the asset unity store pack and right? i just use the pre-made graphics and right? for music i'll just get the royalty free music from kevin mcleod right i think his only his only thing is i just link back to his site so that's more than fair all right um but yeah i, I realize like most of these artists are probably going to be liberals so they're not going to be too happy working on my game right so yeah but uh, I'm just going to have to try to pray to God and, uh, you know, try to, well, A, make me less worried about it because I can already feel the neuroticism in me because I score 69 out of 100, right, on the personality test for neuroticism. I'm already starting to, like, you know, wanting to go crazy. I'm like, no, don't go crazy, right? That's uh, We live a long life doing that, and we know where that leads, which is dis destruction. So that's, that's what Satan wants. We can't give Satan what he wants, so... Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night. It's a sh relatively short video, shockingly. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, tomorrow I'll probably have some more news because, you know, it's a Monday, so stuff happens on Monday. All right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and uh, yeah, enjoy the bull run. I mean, everything's going up. So right now it's at a critical juncture for Bitcoin and crypto. Uh, I don't want to make it sound bigger than it really is. It's like... It's definitely at that point where it, if it wants to go down, like 500 to 1,000 bucks at most, it's like a correction or a mini correction. That's actually very like, that's actually much more likely to happen now. But from the way it looks from the markets, I mean, people are buying a lot of crypto, right? 24 hour volume. Prices just keep going up and there's really no reason for demand to diminish, right? People really want this stuff. Yeah, in fact, it's still going up, so. I think it's just taking a breather. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, tomorrow we'll see, uh, you know, Bitcoin will be 10,511 grand, maybe even more. Uh, oh, we need a. Um, we actually need a thumbnail, don't we? Um, I don't know. What do we. I don't want this weird purple stuff. All right. I don't. I guess we'll go with this weird clock thing. <laughs>